What is up, Autograph Nation? TTM Troy here from TTMAutograph.com, and I'm really glad that you're here for with me today. As you may have noticed, I have ditched the intro, <laughs> the little intro thing. Uh, maybe I'll bring it back, maybe I won't, but I just want like to get right into the videos now and get you the TTM autographs that you are looking for. Now, if you're new to the channel, this obviously is, or not obviously to you, obvious to all the old people, all the experienced people, that TTM stands for through the mail autographs, which is what we collect here on this channel. And I'll show you some of the ones that I have received. A lot of these are actually from 2022. I'm getting kind of caught up on things. 2023 has been a crazy year, and I'm actually going into an incredibly busy season in my life as uh, basketball coaching kicks up into full gear here in January. So I either need to get a whole bunch of stuff out or get a whole bunch of videos filmed. I don't know if you can see this, but every one of these cards that you see is basically another video that I have planned. And there are a lot of cards in there uh, with the stats and everything on them, as well as cards, physical cards that I have gotten back. So I have a bunch of videos to record for you to get caught up before, hopefully <laughs> before uh, basketball season actually goes into full gear. But let's get straight into today's TTMs. Have a bunch for you today and here you go. Check it out right now. Here you go, boom. All right, the first one I have for you is actually from a private signing. And thank you to Andy Summers for alerting me to this uh, private signing. And this is for the set, Chuck Finley. This was $20 at his private signing that was uh, earlier this year. Now, Mr. Finley played from 1986 to 2002 for the Anaheim Angels, the Indians, and the Cardinals. And he is actually a five times All-Star uh, having earned that honor in 89, 1990, 95, 96, and 2000, and a member of the Angels Hall of Fame. Now, during his career, he had a win-loss record of 200 and 173 with an ERA of 3.85, and that actually included 2,610 strikeouts. Now, Mr. Finley was eligible for the big Hall of Fame, in 2008. However, he only received one vote, so he was not elected into the uh, big Hall of Fame with that one vote. But I do want to thank, uh, again, Andy Summers and, of course, Chuck Finley who, uh, for this addition to the 1991 Don Russ set. Next, we have Ryan Hayward. He signed one of one in 30 days. Now, I sent this on September 22nd of 2022 and received it on October 22nd of 2022. Now the address for Brian Hayward is on Sports Card Forum. Now he played from 1982 to 93 for the Winnipeg Jets, the Canadians, the North Stars, and the San Jose Sharks. And he is currently a television analyst for the Anaheim Ducks. Now he has actually been doing that for quite, quite a while. So thank you, Brian Hayward. One of one in 30 days. Next, we have George Capizello. He signed one of one in 44 days on this 1982 Fleer. Now, I sent this on September 8th of 2022 and received it on October 22nd of 2022. Actually, uh, three of the four here were on October 22nd of 2022. Now, the address for George is on Sports Card Forum. Now, he played in the majors for only one year from 1981 to 82, and he played for the Tigers and the Astros. And during that short stint in the majors, he earned a win-loss record of 1-2 with an ERA of 3.23 and 32 strikeouts. So again, George Capizello, 1-1 one one in 44 days. Next, we have Chris Bubich. Hopefully I said that correctly. I think I did. I uh, don't actually hear him, his name pronounced very often because <laughs> I don't. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> he signed 2-2 two of two in 47 days. I sent this on September 5th of 2022 and again received it on October 22nd of 2022. Now I actually sent these cards to him from uh, the Kansas City Royals. So there you go. Uh, and he personalized one and the other one he did not personalize. So that is pretty cool. Anyway, he played at Stanford before being draft 40th overall by the Royals 
and uh, in the 2018 draft and has a win-loss record of 10 and 26, an ERA of 4.89 and 273 strikeouts. And in 2022, he gave up the highest percentage of line drives and the most walks per nine innings among all MLB pitchers. So again, these are his 2022 stats. Uh, I Actually, I, I don't know how he did this year. Uh, for those who are, I could hear you guys asking, and I know it was you, know it was you asking, well, what about this year? And obviously, I don't know. I, I did not uh, pay any attention. I have to be honest, I did not watch one uh, Major League Baseball game this year. I, I just have been so busy, and uh, hats off to the Rangers, but I did not watch one full game all year. I didn't. So I don't know how he did this year. You guys can tell me by putting it down in the comments how he did this year. How about that? Let me know how he did, or if he went back to the minors. I just don't know. But what I do know is that I really appreciate you guys watching this video. And, you know, I've been kind of telling you this a lot lately, but I am trying to revitalize my autograph wall. So if you have not sent me a signed index card and uh, or a custom card, whatever, you can actually find my address down below and go ahead and send me an index card. And if you would like one of my signed uh sign cards of me, make sure you return or include a return stamped envelope or self-addressed stamped envelope. That's what I meant to say. But uh, it is kind of fun to get stuff in the mail, especially from other viewers and other YouTubers. And so if you send me something, I'll go ahead and mention it here on one of my videos. And I promise it won't take me another year to mention it. I promise I'll fit those in as soon as I can into my recording schedule. So Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And may your mailboxes be full and your stamps forever. Bye-bye.